Welcome back, y'all. You know, I love it that Bruce and Kelly are making albums together now. We're big fans of their 2014 project, Our Year. It's full of good country songs. Here now is their story behind the album. Let's check it out. The high school plan, be a motor city man. last project we did, Cheaters Game, we just had such a great experience. It was so fun. Mm -hmm. We were so well received everywhere we went and it it felt exciting for us. We really, really didn't know how it was going to go. No, we didn't. And yeah. it turned out so positive and we had all these other little ideas, these other little songs kind of floating around that we mm -hmm. really still wanted to try and we felt we had something to say with them. Brad Jones is uh, is the fellow that we uh, um, hooked up with for Cheaters Game. Knew we wanted to do that again. He really does what a producer ought to do, which is you know bring out the best in you and and have real ideas and and uh, uh, there, boy, I could go through the songs on this record and he changed half of them. Just enough to keep me hanging on. Oh. I'm a horrible co-writer, but in the perfect world that you end up with a song that wouldn't have existed before because it's half that other person and it takes you to some new place and that can really feel fresh. It's kind of the three of us fighting it out. And he's a rocking guy. And so, you know, we're just kind of bring this country bumpkin thing and, and he puts a little edge to it. That's really a lot more fitting for our music and where we come from. Something's calling me home to Louisiana. Sleep don't come in Louisiana. And the nights get long in Louisiana. And I, I ain't going home. We get together and actually sing the songs and, and find out if they work. Because it's mostly about harmonies and the vibe. And so that's how, to me, the songs just kind of choose us almost. Sometimes you, you'll pull them in there and you'll sing in them and it's just like, oh, that didn't work, you know? Like your favorite bands, uh, to mine, I would listen to them sing anything, you know? Like Willie or somebody, you know? I just love him to put his vibe on whatever song it is. And so I think that once you come up with the sound and the hard work's done, then you can just play the music. I wanna tell you all a story about a Harper Valley widow ride. A teenage daughter who attended Harbor Valley Junior High. People call out covers sometimes, and you just don't know where they came from or why they want that song. But they called out uh, me and Bobby McGee to Bruce one night, and he just played it. He just knew every word. Just the crowd went crazy, and I would, I was just kind of irritated by that for some reason, I don't know why. So secretly I went to Twitter and Facebook because he's never on those things and I asked people, what is a really wordy, complicated country song that I could learn? And somebody, plant someone in the crowd and have them call it out. We all agreed on Harbor Valley PTA. And so somebody sitting out there in the crowd called it out mid-show and I just launched into it. It's pretty funny. And <laughs> we have um, John Ludwig playing bass plays bass on the record and he's played bass in, with me for, I mean, I don't know how many years. And, and with me on and off too, and with Charlie, and he's married to my sister, and so he's family. And two guys Fun to be from around. Central Texas, John's from Belton, and Jeff Queen is from, I, I forget what little town around Waco, but a little place right outside of there. So they, they really know country music, and then our drummer, uh, Joey Sheffield is a rock guy from uh, from Fastball. He, he adds a, a, a little edge to it around the sides. Trisha Kiefer is playing uh, is playing fiddle with us. Um, uh, yeah, she's new for us. Yeah, glad to have a. It's a real Texas thing. Comes a time the music has to stop. It's the end of the ride. Step off of the carousel and say goodbye. We've been married for a long time and we've had solo careers forever and not really predict that 
we would have a, a like a, it feels like a fresh start doing this project together. We've avoided it forever, thinking, you know, we really weren't interested in being in a band together. We were interested in being married to each other and and having our own music. Things kept pulling that music together and the music became a really positive part mm -hmm. of our life, the music we're making together. Mm -hmm. And it's just a, a great surprise. And we have different talents. And so we put that together, we figured out what it was, and that was a big reason to go do the next record, because when we figure that out, it's like, man, we know what we're doing. And we don't have to worry about what comes next, it'll work itself out.